Hello, welcome to to Crochet Curious. My name is Joanne and I am your host and it is Friday, um, the last Friday in March of 2023. And I just ran out of memory on my phone, so it is Freeform Friday. Um, but my uh, clip from my phone is going to be incomplete. It gets cut off because I just ran out of memory. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, I definitely got to work on all my technological stuff. But um, basically, this is going to be the intro for my Freeform Friday episode number one. Um, and I'm just going to do my best to provide some kind of Freeform crochet content on Fridays um, and it might be a hands-on display or might be talking and showing things I don't know but there'll be something and um, so for Fridays I will do my best to try to get something up every Friday for this um, and I, I think it'll be interesting and fun I will be making it up as I go along. So <laughs> um, I do have a couple of books to reference and I will use some of that information, but a lot of this is just going to pop right out of my brain through the hooks into the yarn and we'll just see what happens. Um, and then of course I do have a border I want to make for my um, crochet along blanket I'm doing. And so that will be, um, something that I'll be working on uh, come around June time. So I have a couple of months to work through all of that. So um, I made myself a little demonstration studio, which you can see here. Uh, and I did show it actually on my um, video from my phone. And that's when I realized I was out gonna be out of memory in a couple of seconds. But this is basically my little um, video box I made so that I can demonstrate um, stitching. I put up my very first stitch tutorial. Please be kind, but I will accept constructive criticism. If there is any, please, um, please let me know. I recognize that it is, oh, sorry, difficult to show <laughs> um, the stitch you know, I can't look in the camera to see what I'm showing. Uh, it was, I did my best. And the stitch, I watched it through, and I think it is obvious how to do the stitch. But if you need a different camera angle or something like that, we can always work on that. And maybe I can do it on a face-to-face -face like this. I don't know. Anyway, I'm, I'm just going to try to work all this out. And I appreciate your patience while I do. So, <laughs> um, I am, uh, I have some uh, unboxing stuff, not a lot, but a little, and I'm going to make a separate video for that because I want this to go with my freeform um, clip and I'll have to edit it all together. So, you might not actually see it till Saturday, but, or late tonight, but I'll get there. Thank you. And enjoy the freeform Friday episode one. Hello, welcome to my channel to crochet curious. My name is Joanne and it's Freeform Friday. <clears throat> and I'm going to apologize in advance because there will be, probably be a lot of throat clearing. I have spring is in the air and <clears throat> even though I've taken uh, some allergy pills, I'm still uh, struggling a bit with my <clears throat> yeah, that. So, I will try not to be annoying. So, I just had made this up the other day for a free form, and I noticed that I touched it too many times, and it fell apart. <clears throat> so, I'm just slip stitching this together. And I'm going to tie it off and cut it off. And, and I will show you what I did, and we'll make something new. 
So Freeform is, is fairly new to me, but I will say that, you know, the act of Freeform anything is really right down my alley. I am <clears throat> always trying to make something different than something <laughs> the way it's set up to be done. It just seems to be my way. So, okay, so I made a ring. I put some, um, I think I did single crochets in here and worked my way around it. Then started building off of that. I <clears throat> wanted to try bullion stitches. And so I made some bullion stitches here and then we did a little, I think I did a long chain and then was just connecting at different places. And yeah, I just kind of went crazy with that, making this section here. I couldn't really tell you exactly what I did at this point. <clears throat> Every time the spirit moved me, I just turned it. And then here I did some single crochets to try and get a little firm base here to hang some more um, bullion stitches off of. So here's the bullion. And I had done these little chains and then I went back and I ended up making this big interlocking chain thing here, whatever this is. And it kind of loses the depth, you know, when things lay on top of each other. But there are quite a few strings going through here with chain on them. And then I did some uh, loop, uh, like a fan stitch at the top of here. And then connected the, the two sections of bullion stitches. So, and <clears throat> now that I turn it this way, I, I'm like, hmm, you know, kind of looks like maybe a little angel or something you would make. <laughs> So anyway, um, that's one piece that I, I did finish, and um, <clears throat> of course this one I made a couple weeks ago, and I never really tied this one off, so let's just tie that end off here, just slip it closed. So that's a, you know, different gauge, but here I've got... <clears throat> something I just did a chain in, and then I was just looping it around and attaching it here and there and made a little webby kind of sort of thing. So I thought I will add on to this today. And, um, and just see what happens with it. Now, there's, um, there's so many things you can do with free form. I mean, it doesn't have to be, um, I have a book with like motifs and stuff in it and it doesn't have to be anything pre-formatted at all. I mean, you could just make an odd little fabric out of all this stuff and use it to fill in blanks. It's starting to look a little like a flower maybe or, <clears throat> but you know, it could be anything. And um, I was thinking that I might make a curl on here. I'm trying to think how I would do that. Um, I don't have a bunch of things stuck in my head like, oh, this is how you do this or that or the other thing. But I think if I was to make a chain and put some doubles on it, I, or mm, singles maybe even, I could get a little like a worry worm kind of effect, like a curly cue, like a octopus tentacle or something. Let's see if I can make it happen. I don't really remember exactly which stitch does that, but I think you have to <clears throat> put extras in. I'll just try something and see what happens. So we're just going to make a double in the second stitch from the hook. And in order to get a curl, I know this from making my daughter's scarf, I just have to put in another, uh, you know, a few double crochets in every stitch and it should give me a little curl going on, I think, if I remember right. Yeah, I'll put a 
another one in here and then I'll put a third one in and in this one and then we'll move on to the next one and do two in there so um so freeform fridays now after doing a live freeform friday here's what i am thinking is i really can't do this live and create at the same time that i am you know creation takes a certain part of the brain and conversation takes another part of the brain i think and using both at the same time i don't think i can do that well and consistently um, it's, it was hard for me to read comments and converse with people at the same time that I was trying to sort out what I'm doing creatively. So the best thing I can think of to do here is I'm going to just show some live stitching. <clears throat> well, I'm going to show myself live stitching, but it'll be recorded. <laughs> And I'll just show little videos on um, on uh, Fridays of whatever it is that I've managed to do that week for a scrumble. These things are called scrumbles, the little pieces of motif that get put together. And I would like to do some different colors uh, together and things like that and use like different textures. I was watching Nova gnome creations and she did some great work with um, single color in different shades and at the same time she was using um i don't know if it was fun fur or what she had but it was um some kind of textured yarn i have a whole bag of fun yarn that i could make some cool um stuff out of it's not curling real well I maybe I need more stitches I don't know let's see what happens then we go and make another one I guess it is curling because look it's circular <laughs> okay all right uh so and I'm not being consistent I might do um Two and one, three and one. I did one with four. I did some the singular, singular double crochets. So, you know. <clears throat> so while we're um, we are talking though, I do want to mention that um, I put up a stitch tutorial on YouTube um, yesterday, and it's for one of the stitches that's in the things we're making Thursday video um project um the greek goddess wrap has a couple of stitches that are were unfamiliar to me and so i did a video on one of them um and it's kind of awkward i think because i'm i've never done a lot of this camera work and so trying to show my work while still being able to see what i'm working on you know it's interesting and trying to <clears throat> be an effective camera person and show the stitches in an advantageous way so and I just made a single crochet because I was yakking um so I did make myself a this little um camera bay freeform friday is a work in process and I ran out of phone memory so sadly we have to say goodbye now see you soon